Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. So this time we're taking a look at these Massey Ferguson 7400 Dyna VT tractors. And what you may have already noticed is there's a slight issue with the decals. They vanish at certain points and go all uh, funny with the textures. That, that's one of the few issues with it. There's, um, let's just say they're good certainly an awful lot better than some of the other versions of this track to what I've been doing the rounds but there's still room for improvement on them I thought they're still worth us taking a look at as so many people are wanting one of these in the game so what I've actually got us here is the 7480 which you can see that's all of them I've got the decal issue this is on standard trellyborg tars and I'll explain why it's only on standard tars when we look at them in the shop so it's not had all the textures put to the new UDIM textures which you can see by the things like RAM pistons etc they're still dull shiny and not chrome we've got the 7485 here on Nokian communal tars which again fit all ok we'll then start to see a bit of an issue with tars with this 7490 which has stole loader brackets on it it's on Michelin's but as you can see with the back ones they are incredibly close to the mudguards if you put the wide ones on this is actually worse but still not too bad still usable the Mitas ones on the end here on the 7499 which we'll look at in more detail this is the one we'll actually use. These are fitting okay. Again, if you put the wide ones on, they cut into the fenders. Now, the fender mounted work lights there, you can see, are not um, FS19 standard. They're the only work lights on here on the back which do not work, have not been converted. You can just see the, that by just looking at them all the other lights as you can see have been done now that's, that's what one of the issues with the previous ones have been there is an issue with this tractor I've got enhanced vehicle mod installed on here and it doesn't work with it so I've got no shuttle control on there but when you come up into the log there's doesn't seem anything up there so hopping inside the tractor You'll see that we've got front lights, which those work lights come on at the same time. I haven't tried this in the dark. The upper rear work lights and the front top work lights. So these belt line lights are not working properly, as we can see. So there's issues with the low down work lights on these. But when you actually look into the tractor itself, it doesn't look bad. So it looks better than one or two that just crept into the mod hub, one particular which crept onto the mod hub last week. Yes, the screen's on when the ignition's off, but that could be fixed. But when you go to start the tractor, dash all lights up, all the lights come on. Go off as they should do. We've got no working pedals or anything in here, but it's not bad still. And they do sound good. I haven't tried hooking this on anything yet. To see what we've got. So we do have dynamic hoses on here, which is good. The Bailey has gone to the correct point. We'll put a load of something in here. What we'll do is then try on the front weight of the plow there and see how we get on with that one. So 
It's not the fastest of filling. But, uh, so I'll see how it performs with a full trailer, obviously. So we've actually got bushes cutting through this tractor as well. So that bit's not being addressed properly. Just depends how picky you want to be um, as to how the tractor works. Let's face it, it's actually a working tractor. I'm no expert on the inside of Massey's. I'm the first to say that. Yes, there's one or two things adrift in here. What you can see, like the P2 switch is cutting through the uh, pillar there. Right, we have a load. I will remember that I haven't got a shuttle in a second. That's a really nice sounding tractor. So 50k. Take it up a steep hill and just see what it does. Deepest one I can think of at the moment. The track, anyway, they've gone across fields. So it's not losing much speed going up there. It's behaving as a Dyna VT should, or any sort of CVT tractor. Closing the revs down once it's. Uh, not pulling. So the modder who's done this has said he's not doing any more to it. If anyone else wants to do some fixes on it, it's up to them. Just need a couple of small tweaks here and there, but uh, for the most part, better than some we've seen, and certainly a lot better than the other versions of this tractor we've had served up so far. We do have working beacons. We need to change that key. on that limb can plow. I did have to double check that I still got enhanced vehicle installed by leasing another tractor and it did show up on that one so that is just something peculiar with these ones. So we've got some uh, pressures there by the looks of it. So we have got an extra feature on this. So left control P. Let's see what happens. So we can turn the uh, tyre pressures up as high as 1.8 quite sure which pressures that's doing it's interesting so we've got variable tyre pressure on this 
which is an interesting uh, mod. See what happens. So again, let's uh, get that there. Nothing showing up when we try to do tire presses or anything. Still. So we'll try this on the field up here. GPS as well. Just to see what happens. And just leave it set as it comes up. a bit. Let's see how it goes. It seems to be working okay with that at the moment. Flower is certainly behaving itself okay on here. So we've got deckal issue, there's the issue with enhanced vehicle and some texture wheel issues on this. But uh, it's usable. It's certainly more usable than with less errors than the previous incarnations have had. one of the better versions we've seen so far. So we'll be popping a link in the description to this one. Obviously it is PC only. Given it's uh, not on the mod hub. We've had mods on the actual in-game mod hub with the same decal issues. say too much about that. It's certainly working well. Let's just get to this end and we'll have a look at this in the shop. I do like the sound. Slip there. Right, so let's have a look at this in the shop. So it's in medium tractors. We've got it over here. So, tar options. Trelleborg, standard. With whites, no problem so far. Void, yep, the fits. So the wide trolley box fit okay. As do the white version. The row crop wheels are particularly tiny but do fit. I would say I might just need moving down a little bit. Rare twins again no issue. 
all round twins, no issue. So when we get onto the Michelin, you can see here with the standard ones how tight they fit. So when we go up to wide, they are very, very tight in there. It does look good on them, but it's very tight fitting. And these stabilizers do cut through the tires. Narrow tires, again, that is far too tight because they're actually cutting through the rear fender there. But if they've just moved down a little bit, which there is space to do, that may help the situation. And then back to standard, no dual options. My TAS on standard, no issues. Wide again, it's it looks good, but um, we've got contact in there again. And knocking, we've just got the standard option, which of course there's no issue with. So you have a GPS, yes or no. This is with and without front fenders. So it's just got a uh, missing configuration line there which anyone can work around. We've got the options of the 7480, 85, 90, 95 and 99 down there. So £80,000 still. Front loader, stall, aloe or none. And that is our 7400 Dyna VT. So whilst it's not 100% in every way, it's workable, it's usable, if you pick and choose your options carefully. Right, so before we leave this video, there's one more feature this tractor does have, but you'll need to install the simple IC mod for that as well. So, using the forward slash key, we've got opening door on the left, opening back window, and opening right hand door. From the outside, can't actually do them from the outside, so it's just configured from the inside. But if you get out of the tractor, I'm just wondering. No, it doesn't work externally at all. So no way of closing it once you're outside the tractor, the IC just works inside. So there we are, just another little feature to it. So that's where we'll be leaving this video. So for now, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.